actually decided that they wanted to enter the social network space, they wanted to make a big splash, they wanted to come up with an app. And what they decided to do was utilize uh, the social network platforms to promote their, their, their Pepsi Amp product, which is an energy drink geared towards, as far as I can tell, males between the ages of about 12 and 14 put a lot of marketing dollars behind launching an app called Amp Up Before You Score. And this is an iPhone app. And the way this app works is this. You are in a bar. You are a target demographic male. You see a woman that you would like to score with. You look at your app and you match the photo of the woman you're interested in with the type of woman on the app itself. You know, that's where you get jock girl or punk goth girl or whatever it is. And you select her. And the app, because this is an educational app, will suggest various approach lines like, hey, Renity Bronte lately, or were you at Wimbledon this year? Things like that. The app will also suggest places where you can, because it had a geotracking uh, element, places locally where you could take this particular person, it would you know, be of interest to her, you know, fish house, whatever, uh, another type of bar. And the really cool part is, Presumably, if you were able to complete your mission, which is the scoring part, you could go back and the app allowed you to brag about it um, on their website. So you could talk about not only your interest, but your kind of press release. The app was a roadmap to success with your favorite kinds of women and features a cheat sheet on the stuff she's into with list links and some surefire open lines. Once you score, you can post uh, post about your conquest on the uh, app, Twitter, and Facebook feed. So nobody's going to miss the fact you're a scorer, a uh, successful scorer. So, we see the apps come out. There's a complete firestorm in this one as well. People didn't like it. It was stupid. It was sexist. It was offensive. Uh, so Pepsi did get their viral sensation. Everybody was talking about it. And people were looking at it. But, Within days of this starting, they somehow decided to yank the entire YouTube, Facebook, and Facebook promotions they had done on it, and attempted to erase any reference to this whatsoever. I, I couldn't even find the video that was associated with this because they had gone around and were pulling these things down.